Hi, Lorena. I'm just responding to your tweet about Google Bundles. Uh, I know things have changed. Uh, in the past, you've been able to click on this subscribe button, and obviously you can't anymore uh, if you want to ever subscribe to blogs. Uh, Google Bundles seems to be busted, so there is a way to create a bundle and uh, subscribe to bundles, but it's a little bit trickier than it was before. Okay, so this is how you would do it. So first of all, go to your Google Reader, create a bundle like you normally would, so uh, take a folder, click on uh, the little right-click button or the little uh, menu here, create bundle, uh, here's a bundle and when you've got everyone in there it should automatically bring everyone in the folder but you can always drag and drop others click on save and then normally you would be able to go to add a link and that would be the end of it but in this case you actually have to since things have uh, are no longer working you have to click on this button that says opml file so if you click on this you get this really ugly looking file but what you can do here is actually go to file uh, like save this to the desktop file uh, you won't be able to see this all but si save page as and then save this file it's going to be a .xml file to the desktop or somewhere on your machine all right so it's an ugly looking file save to my desktop I think that's where I saved it anyway all right I want to try that again because I'm not sure if I did actually see it at the desktop yeah it did all right um, then uh, so what I'm going to do is actually log into another account I've got two Google accounts just to show you how to subscribe to this so I'm gonna just switch my account quick I remember how to do that switch account and okay so I'm basically just in another account um, or at least I thought I was. Here, switch account again. There we go. Okay, now I am. So this account doesn't have any subscriptions as you see over here. Um, so in the other account, so your students would have this account, what they do is basically go to, now I'll have to move this over a little bit, but um, if you click on this button in the Google Reader, there is Reader Settings. And I'm gonna move it over again reader settings and then go to where it says import export and then it says import your subscriptions here so students would first have to save their that XML file somewhere or you provide it to them via bit.ly or something else so they have to have access to that file so you could do that for them if you want now just put it somewhere or point to it for instance but they just have to save it somewhere and then uh, go to import export um, choose file so on the desktop here, I saved it, kept the big long name, and then I'm gonna go upload. So when you go upload, it should bring in that, um, all those um, subscriptions. If you go back to Google Reader, you will see a bundle there. And so hopefully this makes sense and uh, that you can do the same thing. I wish Google would fix this.